Hi, welcome back to a brand new video of the targeted individual program, targeted index experience. So, um, just doing a video right now. I was going to do one earlier, but um, you know, just wasn't in the mood. But I got up, and of course, you know, the New York Predator Department again began using their sirens, and then my upstairs neighbor started moving furniture around. All right, now when I talk about the um, the predators on the police department, right? Which I call the 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 predator department, right? You think that I'm just just saying things because I hate police. I don't hate police, okay? But they have engaged in warfare, not just against me, but against black people, my people, and even poor white people right or other ethnicity group based on again their racist ideology and or their criminal mind right and particularly when it comes to us as black people right these police officers whether they're white black asian uh, uh chinese indian what have you um it doesn't really matter because again how they're trained is to look at black people as with and with disdain all right, so here's a uh, that just came out a few days ago. Okay, talks about how you have thousands of firearms. Okay, thousands of firearms that have been connected, and this is from the the ATF report that is saying this. Now, uh, this is just going to be for so hopefully I don't get um, <laughs> you know a copyright strike. Uh, this is just for educational purposes and because I want to show you guys that when I like I said I don't just say things based on my opinion but it's factual and you know the truth is coming out like I said you know we are charged with bringing what's in the dark into the light right and not to say you know some things we 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 are able to do that and other times there'll be others that's going to do that and in this case the ATF right listen to this now Six Flags Great Adventure Resort is open for spring break. For a limited time, get a free upgrade to... ...gun store in Virginia, Maryland, find it online. They pay for it and then ship it to a licensed dealer in D.C. That D.C. dealer is the only place that a federal background check is done, and that looks for past convictions or other disqualifications. And for a time, D.C. police was the only one in town doing them, something that's now raising newly uncovered concerns. There are only two people in the entire district who can help you get a legal handgun in D.C., and Sean Poland is one of them. I wonder if that needs to be modified. Poland opened D.C. Security Associates in 2021, one of two federal firearms licensees in D.C. We believe in responsible ownership. At a time when D.C. had only one other gun dealer, the Metropolitan Police Department. According to everyone we talked to and federal records we've combed through, D.C. was then and is still now the only police department anywhere in America to sell guns to the public. The only one. And we've got the records to show how it happened. Fearing Second Amendment scrutiny, D.C. Council passed a law in 2012 allowing the city to deal guns if no private business would do it. And that was the case in the spring of 2020 when Mayor Bowser ordered D.C. police to do it. In April 2020, D.C. police started operating as both the dealer and enforcer of gun laws in the district. Police departments are not supposed to be firearms dealers, are they? No, heck no. That was my biggest my biggest point there. If your firearms branch screws up, you're going to inspect and enforce your own firearms branch? Months later, Poland remembers, D.C. police couldn't wait to get out of the gun business. They asked us to open early, by four weeks. Why? They were getting sick and tired of of managing all those firearms they had down there. They had thousands of firearms waiting to be processed. DC police wouldn't talk to us about Poland's claim, but we do know now where some of those guns ended up. After a gun is found at a crime scene, the ATF traces it all the way back to the original sale with dealers like Poland, and then follows the trail to see who else may have bought the gun before it was used in a crime. Detectives use the traces to develop suspects. The ATF cracks down on dealers who sell a higher number of guns eventually recovered at crime scenes 
forcing them to report more information and participate in what the ATF calls its Demand Letter 2 program. The agency put D.C. police in it after tracking dozens of guns from crime scenes in 2021 alone to MPD gun dealing. We are not anti-gun dealer at Brady. Uh, We are anti-irresponsible gun dealing. The group Brady United Against Gun Violence recently released hundreds of documents related to the program and found it's really rare to be put in it. But we found 14 dealers in the D.C. area, including Poland's and another who currently operate in D.C., and MPD was on the list, too. It was a little bit surprising to see the D.C. Metropolitan Police Department receive a demand letter. But not to Poland. No, does not swear as one bit. Who says he warned police he didn't think their gun-selling practices were tight enough. I walked in there and it was it was archaic. The processes, um, the systems they were using um, to to manage that process is was archaic. I I offered advice, said offered um, little suggestions. DC police wouldn't tell the I team if it took his advice or answer any questions on camera. A spokesperson only telling us MPD has never sold guns. MPD was required to operate as an FFL to uphold a constitutional right in the district. During that period, the department facilitated the legal transfer of 8,038 firearms. Gun dealers are gatekeepers. That's their mandate under the federal law. They have that responsibility and that obligation to make sure that every cell is a safe cell. But there's another concern the I-team found, what's called time to crime. Now, listen... You know, they're talking about they never sold guns, but they, they facilitated the transfer of guns. That's exactly what they're doing. All right, let me, um, all right, that, and that is exactly what they're doing, which was selling guns. It's the same thing. But I want you to understand how they, when it comes to admission of any sort of uh, uh, guilt or taking responsibility, they are going to change the, sub, the narrative or uh, change the wording of it, right? This is how these are, uh, the predator departments across the U.S. works, right? And again, they are, like I said, it is, it, there is a criminal entity within law enforcement in the United States, criminal entity, where they can do whatever they want, right? And the fact that, you know, that, that should never happen. That should never happen. Okay, but police departments will find ways in order to make profit, right? Because again, they're going. They want high, high, higher paying salary, more promotions. Um, you know, high tech uh, weapons, uh, high tech surveillance equipment. You know, I mean, they're out of control. It, this, they, they're out of control and. Why? Because of the agenda that's coming down the pipeline, right? The agenda that's coming down the pipeline. And that involved, like I said, mass unemployment, microchipping of people within the society, which has already begun, okay, who are labeled, right, um, as uh, uh, dissidents, um, troublemakers, or, or what have you. They would ever, whatever labeling they're willing to put on someone, that's what they're going to do. Okay. Now, like I said, we start seeing it where you have Amazon, basically uh, the second largest uh, owner in terms of company in which they employ robots. They don't got to pay health insurance. They don't, you know, robots don't eat, they don't sleep. All right. So we're going to see a lot of uh, people becoming unemployed and being re- replaced with robots. And what's going to happen? Anytime you have situations like this, it's going to lead to chaos. It's going to lead to, to crime. It's going to lead to other, you know, a whole bunch of crimes, right? So to be able to microchip people, right, so you can control them, you can uh, um, shut them down, shut their, their brain down, their body down. Again, you know, it may sound like a conspiracy theory. To you but guess what a lot of conspiracy theories end up being conspiracy fact okay like i said i don't just say what i just say i provide the proof the documents to show you that this is exactly what they're doing anyhow I'll talk to you guys in the next video